Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Curious Moon Design. Really excited today because we're going to be going through our first full junk journal kit which is going to be available on the Etsy shop. And this is the Dreamers kit. So Dreamers is inspired by that strange and yet familiar space between sleeping and waking. So it's very lunar centred, you're going to see a lot of the moon in this pack and it's a lot of astrology and star charts, shadows and it's a really cool, quite literal, dreamy pack. So let's jump in. Okay, so these are the full page designs. As you can see we've got some paper tears on there, we've got the magpie and um, this kind of like little scene here. This is actually one of my um, photographs of um, someone walking towards us in a shadow and that's really quite dreamlike. Okay, uh, this is the second page so we have, um, this one actually features a lot in our logo, this um, old ship with the clouds. Uh, we really like that, I like that idea of curiosity and exploring. And we've got some really lovely words on the side here. So they read, and at night they came to me, the most beautiful dreams, the music of shadows, ships sailing the clouds, moon dust on the waves, and the low calling owls. And we've actually got the little owl here. He's really cute. So these ones, they are all printed on A4. Uh, so you can go ahead and fold them and use them in journal pages like this. Um, so you can just have them as four designs and you can kind of cut them out. Tear up the edges, ink them up. I think inking up will work really well with this one because it's got that kind of vintage feel to it. And actually on these ones, um, we've got some of the plain pages printed on the other side. So that might be really useful if you're looking to not have too much white space. You can kind of use them like that. Okay. This is the third page. So we've got the old vintage camera there. And the old picture. This one is actually of the waves. So I really like that idea of um, the moon on the waves. This one... Um, the photo is actually called Moon Dust um, on the tips of the waves. So you can see that one there. And this one here, this is actually a um, fanfare horn I found out. So I was thinking, inspired by the BFG, the dream horn, kind of blowing these magical kind of worlds into your dreams. I think that's a really nice kind of theme for a journal. Especially if you were doing it for a present, you could do it like a dream diary or something for someone. And as you can see again on here, we've got some of the plain pages. So these ones really, they're kind of like, they're all kind of shadowed up as if you're looking through mist and clouds. This one here, uh, if you've seen our logo on the Etsy and YouTube shop, you'll know this is kind of like a take on that. We've got the extra added clock in the moon here, which is a really nice feature. That might be a nice one to kind of bring out and tear up and card back or something like that. And the old stopwatch. The nice dandelion seeds, these feature quite a lot through here. I really like that kind of motif. Something really ephemeral about them. And then the ship through the clouds again. And this one is a kind of different one. This is a full page of a photograph. This is one of my photos um, down on the beach in the evening. And we've got a little section here that you could put some notes maybe, um, perhaps add some old writing, layer up there, make it look really cool. And it says down here some more words. And what does the sea tell you in dreams? Does it sing of the horizon never to be reached? It's that kind of really like unanswered questions kind of cool thing we're going for there. And this one, so this is more of a link to the astrology and the star charts. This is like an old um, uh, star chart. And this one is um, an advert for astrology. I think a lot... Um, of these are probably Victorian era. There was a real interest in that around that time. This kind of mysticism and trying to find out what else is out there. So it's got a real vintage feel to it. And this kind of like um, botanical additions as well. So the flowers sleep while the moon shines bright. 
and again here this is kind of like a nice space to add some bits in and you know that would tear out really nice and perhaps cut the little moon out kind of keep that as a tab maybe um, if you're not going to use it as a full page and now we move on to the patterns so this one here we've got the the fanfare trumpets the clouds uh, we've got the um, star chart the dandelion seeds so this is a really fun piece um, that would work really well and kind of pick up all the notes that are in the main pages and then we also have here this is one of my new designs so this one we thought it would be quite cool seeing as this is our first um, full kit to have our logo in there as well and um, it's got a mix of the owl and the camera so this is quite a bold print so we're kind of looking for this nice contrast here you've got this kind of more muted design here still really fun and playful but this one's more bold so you could use this as like a full page pattern but also this kind of gives you the scope to maybe like cut out these sections and like use them again and now we move on to the ephemera so we're starting with the tags these ones really love some of these um, the names of the moon this is really interesting there's so many different phases and different names but some of um, our favorites particularly were the blue moon and the harvest moon and um, you know the harvest moon really bright and orange in the sky so that's adding this pop of color into the pack as well because a lot of it is the muted tone so some of the ephemera you'll see will start bringing some color in there and the tags We've got the moon here, some more of the astrology. So these are going to look really nice kind of coming out of some of your pockets or the envelopes. You guys are so creative, so um, I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun with these. Uh, the next page is the postcards. So these ones here. We've got some nice stamping on there as well. I mean, these all look really good, I think. You could either put them on the card we've got them on some nice thick card here but you could even have them on slightly thinner you know tear them up ink them up on the sides you know really play with that vintage feel this one actually has some writing um, overlaid on it so that's a really nice touch and we've kind of gone for the um, star scopes and things so this is 1953 and then there's some smaller versions at the bottom as well, so you've got like a good good amount to play with there. Now these ones are nice, these are some written letters. So these ones, when you think about um, that time in the evening and sleeping and waking, you know, maybe you've got a lot of thoughts running through your mind, and this is a little letter that someone might have written in that kind of sleepy space. So we've got two different versions here. We've got the white version and then the kind of tea stained version. So you've got some options there to um, to play around with. Okay, so here we have the um, invoices um, for the telescopes and camera lenses. So playing on that kind of like old photography, vintage kind of feel. Um, We've already added some kind of textual elements for you, so they're already coming like with that vintage feel, but there's plenty of scope for you guys to play around with that. So you can, like I say, ink up, maybe print on some different types of paper. So really play around with the textures. I think those ones will really work well with that. And we've also added a selection of words. So these are words that really come to mind when we're looking at this pack. We're thinking of things like moon dust and slumber, the idea of being enchanted, infinity. And um, we've gone for some different types. So these ones, they're on that same kind of textured background as the invoices. And we're kind of sticking with our theme of this kind of typewriter kind of font as well and playing that against the handwritten script. So it's a really nice kind of contrast there. And these ones you can cut out as blocks. So there's plenty of different ways to use these. And I think it's nice to have some little words dotted through, isn't it? I see that on a lot of, 
you guys using the different packs and adding those little words and I think when you're looking through a junk journal and there's a lot visually sometimes it's nice to have that extra kind of um, to um, really get your imagination going and then we have a full size pocket here so we've got some elements of the full designs and then also some of um, the little line sections as well so that will fold up really nice and have like some different elements in there perhaps you could put some of the invoices in there or you know some of the tags okay and these ones are the tickets so again we're using the full page designs in the background here so you've got some really lovely elements um, running through them these ones really pop and um, you know they kind of they could be used almost with the um, astrology meetings or um, using them as part of like entrance to a planetarium they're really nice little ticket stubs and um, I mean you can cut them up individually if you want but actually um, they, they do pop really nice as strips as well so there's a good variation there um, for you guys to use and then the final page here we just have um, just a real nice mix of different ephemera so we've got some nice um, kind of like labels here that you could use um, this one's actually got like a nice bit of gold on it um, you could use these as tabs um, so we've actually taken some of the um, astrology advertisement um, and got that on the background there so there's a nice link to the other ephemera in the packs as well so I really hope you guys have enjoyed that um, really looking forward to your feedback and um, seeing what you guys make with it so you know guys I had a, a different ending to the original video but actually I felt it was important to maybe put this in um, to introduce ourselves as well seeing as this is going to be our first full junk journal kit. So on our YouTube channel uh, Anne is going to do a full run through of the dreamers journal that she's made with the kit uh, but for now I'm just going to have a flick through while I kind of introduce ourselves. So. Uh, we at Curious Moon Designs are a mother and daughter designer maker duo. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm Jennifer and I design all the pages that you've seen today. And Anne, my mum, she creates these wonderful junk journals and also helps um, design the um, ephemera. So this is kind of like how things you could use, some of the kits. Um, some of the little tickets we've got in there so like I said there'll be a full run through of this but I thought I would have this to hand kind of run through it while I was introducing um, our, our new um, our new brand and just want to say how excited we are to be joining this really creative and um, inspiring Etsy uh, community we are really looking forward to seeing what you guys do with our designs um, I know that there are some absolutely wonderful kits out there um, throughout the community uh, but do just let us know is there something that you feel is missing you know particular theme um, it would be really interesting to hear from you what you guys are looking for um, from different junk journaling themes so that's us that's me Jennifer and my mum Anne we're Curious Moon Design and we really look forward to um, hearing from you and creating some really um, interesting work for you. Okay, see you soon guys. Bye-bye.